is it time to uninstall Edge? In order to comply, this is, this is weird. in order to comply with the EU Digital Markets Act, Microsoft will soon allow Windows 10 and 11 users in the European Economic Area. Oh man, really? To uninstall <laughs> all Windows apps, including Camera, Photos, Edge, and even Bing. Windows will likewise respect apps' default browsers and allow users to choose if they want their Microsoft account to sync data across devices. So our discussion question here is, so when are you setting your location to Hungary and deleting all of this stuff? Yeah, I wonder, I wonder how specific they're going to be about... Um like detecting if you're on a VPN and, and like undoing stuff if you fall off of it or something like that. A Q1, uh, William G, is what we're aiming for for the precision. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, like I, 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 that would be interesting because if, if you can just like set your location or VPN out or something like that, um, oh yeah, I would absolutely do that. Oh my goodness. There's no way that this wow. is not going to be possible to spoof. It's got to be. Like someone's gonna come up with a pie really hole, easy. like a yeah, pie it, hole it would thing, be, where you just reroute you everything your... from from that machine. Ah. With, like it, like and like even if you had to go as far as to have another virtual interface or something like that, you wouldn't even need another physical interface. You would just have to take, um, like I would imagine it would operate probably similarly to the way that people will alter their. Um, uh, which file is it? Like hostname file or whatever it is when you're trying to go to pirated activation servers? You know what I'm talking about, right? What's that? What's, yeah, it's been what's a it, long time. What's that I stupid? I don't remember. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. remember the last time that I tried to pirate Windows. It just doesn't really come up a lot now that you can. Yeah, host yeah. file. There you go. So I would imagine that there's something along those lines that someone will figure out and will be able to just kind of go, yep, I'm finished now. Finished with this. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Thanks for acknowledging me. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, or it could be a registry change or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited though because I just, I don't you know why. Do a video on it. it shouldn't bother how, how me to, that how much. How to uninstall Windows apps? Like, why does it bother me that? You know, I open, I, I don't know, a PDF or something, and it opens in the Edge reader because I haven't oh. set it up to open in something else on this machine. It's just like, no, I just I just never actually want to see this application. Jaden brings up a really good point of, like, where where does this stop company-wise? Like, this just hit Microsoft, uh, but Jaden specifically said, will this apply to Samsung phones too? Um, my oh. goodness. This being able to work on phones would be amazing. I might actually end up going back to Samsung. I really liked Samsung back in like the S3 days. Um, but then a lot of the Samsung specific software that you can't get rid of, I hate it so much that I like won't go back. But if they made it so you could actually get rid of it and you could get it back more towards a stock Android experience, there's some Samsung phones that are really nice. Yeah. That would be very interesting. I wonder if Samsung has a dominant enough position that they would go after them for this. But either way, like good guy EU, I feel like every other week we're talking about something cool that yeah. the EU is doing to finally crack down on these tech monopolies and keep them from abusing their position. Like where, what, when did the US government lose their fangs and claws? Yeah, they, they, they slashed Microsoft super, 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 super hard. Super hard. Just never touched it again. They, they ripped apart AT&T, slashed Microsoft, and then just lost all their teeth. I don't get it. <laughs> Probably because of insane amounts of lobbying, I'm assuming, from the results of both of those uh, moves. Okay, to be clear, guys, I get it. I just am frustrated. <laughs> I, yeah, know, yeah. I know how and why it happened. I just don't like it. <laughs> oh. Man.